By now you should be aware that being alive is complicated. Molecules are constantly broken down and rebuilt. Energy is obtained and used and obtained again. It's a process that requires many thousands of chemical reactions and all of those reactions together are called metabolism. Metabolism is made possible by enzymes and enzymes are proteins. Let's look a little closer at how enzymes work. Enzymes are catalysts. They help a reaction along without being used up in the reaction. They can't make a reaction happen that wouldn't otherwise happen, but they can drastically lower the amount of energy required for a chemical reaction to take place. The reactants in an enzyme catalyzed reaction are called substrates. The substrates bond to the enzyme and spots on the enzyme called active sites. The active sites of an enzyme might bring two substrates close together, increasing the chances that they might react. Or a single substrate might be bound to the enzyme in such a way as to increase the chances of it breaking into two new molecules. When the reaction has happened, the enzyme releases the substrates, which are now products of the reaction. When it has finished with one set of substrates, it can bond with another set. It can do this over and over again till there are no substrates left to bond to. Plants use enzymes to help turn the energy in sunlight into the energy in carbohydrates. Animals use them to break down those carbohydrates for the energy needed to stay alive. All organisms break down and rebuild the macromolecules they obtain to make the ones they need. When we eat food, we don't just incorporate that food into our own bodies. That food gets digested and broken into its components and then rebuilt into the things we need. Protein gets broken into amino acids and those amino acids might be rearranged into different amino acids and then built back up into the proteins we need to live. The lipids we eat today could become the cell membranes or the earwax of tomorrow. We get the molecules of life from the things we eat, but we don't just move those molecules around, we transform them into the molecules we need. Molecules we need are called nutrients. Most of the specific nutrients we need can be made from the macromolecules in our diet. If we can't make all of the nutrient we need, then that's an essential nutrient and we have to get it in the correct form in our diets. These include some amino acids and some vitamins and minerals. As long as we have those in the macromolecules, we have what we need for metabolism.